Okay, everybody. It's Van Silk, not in my house with Van Silk. Check me out on rumble.com. Just go to rumble.com, search for Van Silk, sign up, get all the great content. Okay, NBA, the season tournament. Trash. Seemed like this tournament was built, schedule was put together for the Lakers to win. You're not getting no rings for this. $500,000 per player when you got players in the league making 30, 20, 30, 40, 50 million dollars a year. Okay, even it might be good for the bench players. Point differentiation. Like, listen, let's be serious. I mean, congratulations to the fake, I mean, Lakers. There's no ring for this. It's like some of the players were even interested in this in season tournament. But it, remember, the fifth Western Conference, fifth place team <laughs> won the tournament. Now, let's get back to regular basketball. Let's get back to the regular NBA season. Let's get back to June to see who's going to win the championship. Let's get back to real basketball. But meanwhile, check out what some of the people in the media of the NBA and some of the NBA players had to say about this NBA in tournament or whatever you want to call it. I mean, like, Adam Silver, shit is trash. Okay? It's garbage. This is Van Silk, not in my house. I got to go. Peace. We have our first ever NBA in-season cup. Laker team, come take your trophy. It's the end season tournament. Listen, I'm gonna just keep it real. They they not fighting for the trophy. They fighting for that five hundred thousand. I'm gonna just keep it all the way hundred. So it, it is a very exciting what they're doing, but it ain't about the trophy. It's about each player getting that five. Well, whatever 000. the motivation is, as uh, long I, as I, it, I, as long I, as it I, matters I, to you. I, I, yeah. I'm telling you, that's what the motivation is. mentioned that you guys like to have fun. Have you thought at all about how you're going to celebrate if you're able to pull this off? Man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we ain't thought about it, but I know it's going to be a good time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You said you're going to play roulette. You're going to get at least $100,000, so that'll make it easier. Are we getting money now? We got some money? That's a, new, that's a surprise to you. Hey, they, they rich get richer. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, Adam? We've been playing in this tournament for a week and still don't know what's going on. I know everyone is having a tough time grasping the tournament, so I brought in Leonardo DiCaprio to explain it. What does he know about basketball? Nothing, but he was in that movie Inception, which, believe it or not, was even more complicated and more stupid than this tournament. Oh, so it's all just a dream. Guys, this is just a dream. No, it's not a dream. This is real life, and you're playing the regular season, but you're also playing in a tournament, and within that tournament is a regular season, and that's where you are right now. But after that, there's a tournament within the in-season tournament. So you, like, got to see Margot Robbie naked, right? Yes. Tight. What's the experience been like so far playing in the tournament game? It's weird because the energy, you can tell it's like something is happening, but it's new, so I'm not really sure what the hell is going on. Like, what? I don't really know what, what's going on. So, you know something is going on. It seems like a moment, the court, you know, the uniforms, TV game and all that, but nobody really, I don't think nobody really know what's going on. So we just, you know, we just trying to get to Vegas. Period, at least you got the wins. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Lakers since they beat us, <laughs> uh, and they got the size to compete with anybody. Um, they got the quickest quickest flight out of anybody. <laughs> Most fans probably too, right? Most fans out of anybody. So it's set up for them to win, and I, I can't wait to watch the intensity of these games. Have been incredible. Like I said, I wasn't a fan as they were performing this thing, but now I'm a huge fan. Of the end season and. Looking forward to watching it. Devin, what do you think was key in Soviet?
I'm not a fan of the play-in tournament. This is all a money grab, guys. Just so you guys know, to boost revenue, to boost viewership. If you get an in-season play-in tournament and you got a team like the Charlotte Hornets who are, I don't know, let's say they're in 10th place and they end up getting hot and going on a six-game win streak and it's only a one-game elimination and they end up winning this in-season tournament, that's going to increase viewership. It's going to increase the, the narrative that, well, maybe Charlotte is better than what we think they are. That's going to increase a whole bunch of other people talking about them. So it's a money grab at the end of the day. I don't hate it. I mean, I don't love it, but I understand what it is. I just, I don't like the fact that I can be 10 games behind you after 82 games and still have a chance to make the playoffs. You know what the end season tournament has done? Because this... On a normal day, it's a regular season game, and it might be on TV, it might not be. Oh, yeah, it's putting that extra, that air in here, like you said, no no doubt. It's like, even, this is really a regular season game where they changed the uniforms, they didn't change the court. So now we looking at a, in the mid-season, like this is a playoffs, and it's so exciting for the fans, bro. Energy, like, crazy. And, and then they moving it to Vegas for the Final Four. I, I'm loving the excitement because I'm watching games this early in the season. Mm -hmm. That look like playoff games. That means something. That, 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 dog, we don't, you, don't, you don't be in November Thanksgiving talking about, dog, they playing like, shit, they up 15. They trying to go up 20 because of the point thing, too. Yes, I saw that. Oh, man. Did you watch the uh, OKC uh, Minnesota game? In season tournament? Yeah. Listen, that shit, that shit felt like I was in April. Like I was That's in May or something. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know That's what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Man, it's league, great energy league, for the league. Great energy they for league the league. Knew, I love how the league is always innovating, bro. Yeah. And it's keeping it more fresh and exciting now at this early in the season because now you're paying attention in, in games that really don't really add up to the end of the year. But right now, I think – I'm not sure what the prize is. I know they get a bag for winning it. 500 mm -hmm. grand each player. Yeah, but it should be some other it's incentive coming, too. It's you coming, should dude. get automatic home court if you make the playoffs Damn, P, in the first round. Man, kill, P. No, I think All Star needs something like that to 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 solidify All Star. All Star, All, All -Star, All -Star too, All -Star. way too loose. All Star yeah. needs to be real back in. It needs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But this right here, I like where this is going. This season tournament, the point differential. You were trying to get as many points as possible, oh, but then you exactly, but then. Teams have been upset, like, okay, why are they trying to run up the score? Can you maybe explain the rules and how that it has to play into these games? Uh, you have I've seen teams upset about it. I don't know why. I've seen players upset about it. I don't know why. Um, I mean, honestly, I wish every game was like that, where you could play to the end and, you know, it wasn't viewed as disrespectful. Um, just high competition. Do you think that's, uh, you know, people always say, like, baseball or, you know, uh, like the traditions of the sport and mm -hmm. stuff like that. People are kind of saying this now, like, integrity. Do you think that that's kind of silly to a degree? Yeah, I mean, I don't – I mean, if everybody's under the same impression that you're playing to the end, then it would never be a problem. It has been clear from the start of this tournament by both your words and your play that you were putting your full effort into this, and that set the standard for the rest of the league. Why did you decide to put all of this into something new? Because uh, my young is over here, uh, my rookies, my second year guys. Um, some of them haven't experienced playoff basketball. Uh, some of their paychecks are not as equipped as some of the older guys on our team. So, and then some of our fans during the December and January months, they start, they kind of stall out a little bit. So I felt like it's my obligation and it's my responsibility to keep everybody engaged, including my teammates, including our fans for our beautiful sport. So that's why I was locked in from day one.